Hey, it's Alec with Lover Fighter Writer, and this video is going to be a quick review and demo of Riku AI, which is a newer, um, I don't know exactly when it came out, but I just heard about it uh, a couple months ago um, when the owner reached out to me. And um, so it's a newer AI writer, and what's really exciting about Riku is that it's taking a completely different approach to AI writing than like 95% of the other tools out there. And I'll explain exactly what that means. So Riku is uh, basically a AI template builder. Um, they call them prompt here. They don't call their, they don't call them templates. They call them prompt. But if you use other tools, you might know these as either templates or frameworks. Uh, that's what they're generally referred to in the AI writing community, but Riku calls them prompts. And um, basically that's what this tool is for. You can use it to build your own prompts and you can use it to create prompt chains as in sequ sequential or um, non-sequential chains of multiple prompts that run in a row either using the output from the last one as an input or using the same input. Uh, so that's really cool and I'm really looking forward to getting into that a little bit more. And the other really cool thing about Riku is that it integrates with all these different AI um, language models. So you've got OpenAI, which is the, the producer of GPT-3, which is what um, most AI writers use. But you've also got uh, these other three. And for these first three that are read here, uh, you need to get your own API access to them. And then you pay, I think, based on usage for access to those. And it's apparently pretty cheap for most of them. Um, and then GPTJ, uh, you get access to that just for having access to Riku. And you can use it as much as you want to kind of like, you know, test and tweak stuff. And then you can, um, if you want to get different, if you find that one of the other language models works better for you, then you can switch it up and uh, really easily just go from one, um, one language model to the other with the same, uh, the same template or the same prompt. Um, so I haven't set up any of those yet. I've just been using the GPTJ, which is pretty good. Um, I like it. And, uh, Basically, this is the playground right here. Uh, so I'm in the dashboard right now. There's this nice video. Um, and then if I go to the playground, uh, this is where you create your templates or your prompts rather. And so I've just made a simple AIDA one here. You can see I've got a command line at the top instructing the uh, what I want it to do. I've got the three hashtags. I've got um, the input, then three more hashtags. And I've got the desired output and then three hashtags to end it. And that's, I mean, I could add more samples, but this works already. And then over here we have, uh, I can't remember exactly what all these mean. Uh, temperature is the creativity output. Like, so how, how strict or how creative it is. Um, a lower top P means less tokens are considered for the output. Uh, so I think this is like, I'm not sure what this one is really. And this is output tokens is like the length, how much, how much you want it to write. And then this is just telling it to use the hashtags as a stop sequence. So basically you can build your prompts in here. You can save them. I've got a few saved over here. Um, and then you can actually export the code as well, which is cool. Uh, so if you want to, you, you can use Riku. I think this is what a lot of people are doing with it is uh, they're using Riku to build their own prompts or templates and then they're exporting the code and putting it into their own application um, so that's it's pretty exciting that it's this is going to kind of help people uh, who are more developer minded who want to you know create their own tools to do their own thing um, and then so if we come here we've got the community showcase there's just tons and tons of uh, tons of prompts created by uh, the users here uh, in the community and then if I go to my prompts, you can see I've got the ones that I created. We'll just run uh, <laughs> We'll just run my Aida template for a couple times maybe uh, So let's see we could do uh, product or service. We could do copywriting services, right? That's what I usually start with 
We'll see if it works because there's only one sample and it's a product, but uh, probably will. Attention, the best way to get noticed is to be noticed if you want. <laughs> wow, that is so repetitive. Um, we'll try that again. Um, um, okay, so it's not it's not doing a great job with this. Um, let's try something else. Let's try um, peanut butter cookies. Just uh, switch it up with a product. Um, peanut butter cookies are a great snack. Did you know that peanut butter is a great source of protein and it's a, a great source of energy? Grab a box of peanut butter cookies today. That's not great, but it's not as bad as the other ones were. Um, anyways, but the the reason it's probably not giving the best outputs is that it only has one sample to go off of. Um, so I think if I built this out a bit more, it would give me better results. And it was giving me better results earlier. Um, if you use these tools, you know they're unpredictable. Um, so anyways, that is the uh, the prompts area. And then, like I was saying, you can create you can create chains. Um, so this is where you can create a prompt chain. I haven't made any yet because I haven't I haven't had a chance to bring in any of my full workflows from other tools. Um, I haven't had a chance to build any new ones here either. Um, I haven't ha haven't used Riku that much yet. Um, but the reason I'm making this video now is because uh, the AppSumo deal is ending. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier. So um, this is the deal on AppSumo. You can see it's I I, I heard somewhere that it's not ending. It's just going up in price. But it says that it's uh, it says that it's the offer is ending, but that could that could just mean it's going up in price. But it also might mean that it's going to be over. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to maybe I'll ask in the Facebook group to try and figure that out. But uh, that's why I wanted to make this video now is just to let people know about it before the AppSumo deal ends or goes up in price or whatever, um, because it's a, it's a really good one to grab. I think if you're I mean if if you if you just use AI writing tools for like you know writing stuff and you don't you're not interested in getting into them in an advanced way then this probably won't interest you that much but if you're really into ai writers if you own like a bunch of them and you like experimenting with different ones and creating your own templates and stuff like that then riku is something that you should definitely consider um and yeah so you can create these prompt chains you put in the name and then there's a static prompt chain which i think is where where it uses the same input for every prompt and then there's this sequential prompt chain which is where it uh it uses the input from the previous prompt in the next one um so i i'm i'm really looking forward to building some sequential prompt chains um because i have a number of workflows which you may have seen me use in other tools which are basically sequential prompt chains and normally i have to do it all manually um, so I'm looking forward to that. And this is where you would run a prompt chain if you had any. And then down here, you've got your API settings, manage your account, all that stuff. Uh, the support docs are really good. I opened that up over here. Um, so they've got some really nice support docs. It, it explains very, very well um, kind of like what Riku is, what AI writing is, how to use it. And then you have even got like breakdowns of the different AIs here. It kind of explained. Uh, so I learned quite a bit from this actually just from reading these short pages and anyway, that is pretty much uh, Riku AI in a nutshell. Um, I haven't, uh, like I was saying, I haven't used it a lot. I've only made a few, um, these few prompts in here, but uh, I'm, I am really looking forward to moving some of my other ones over and I'll probably uh, even look into getting my own a uh, API keys for some of these, some of these, uh, these uh, language models because I'd really like to experiment with that and get a better handle on what the differences between them are and uh, what what each of them is best for because I've kind of got a feeling for that already based on all the different tools that I use. Um, but this would obviously make it much easier to understand the differences. So anyways, that is my Riku AI review. Um, let me know if there's uh, any questions that you've got, if there's anything you'd like to see me do with this. Um, I'm definitely going to make some videos about this in the future because I want to create these prompt chains. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't have too many ideas for this because it's basically a template builder. 
which I've got lots of uh, lots of videos on my channel about building templates. Um, but I might do a few in here. Uh, people are always asking for more of those, so it might be a good idea. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.